the Botanical Gardens, a wide variety of plants is on display throughout the whole year. And in the next week, a corpse flower will spring to life. The Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens is a great place to go either by yourself or with family and friends. This garden takes you on a walking tour that shows you different plants and gardens from all around the world. The Botanical Gardens is very popular amongst Western New Yorkers, but do you know the history behind it? The Botanical Gardens has been here for 114 years. The construction of the Botanical Gardens started in 1897 and ended in 1900. The design of the garden was modeled after the Kew Gardens in England. At this time, the conservatory was the third largest public greenhouse in the United States and the ninth largest in the world. When the garden had first opened, it was free to all, but now having over 100,000 guests per year, the garden stays open using admissions, events, memberships, and more. The Botanical Gardens has 13 full-time staff members and 7 part-time staff members. The rest of the help for the gardens comes from volunteer members. Some of these are from societies which include Koi, Ivy, Orca, and Herb societies. When you begin your tour, you will first come across the Corpse Flower Morty. Morty is the garden's most popular attraction this summer. This plant can grow up to 6 to 8 feet tall and can grow 2 to 8 inches per day. Corpse flowers can bloom every 6 to 10 years, but Morty will bloom any week. Don't miss this amazing experience. The garden also has a section for butterflies, which show their cycle and also has specific plants put out that attract butterflies. The garden also holds educational programs, which include art and painting classes. Last year, over 13,000 people were involved. A sponsor for the gardens is Wegmans, which helps them with their educational programs. Also, important relationships with the gardens are Mercy Hospital, Catholic Health System, and Medi College School of Pharmacy. The overall mission of the Buffalo and Erie County Botanical Gardens is to have people understand that without plants, life as we know it would be gone.